health so we are finally having a clear night so I can go over my workflow on uh, how to set everything up but uh, enough chit chat let's go to the video <laughs> Okay, so first let me mention that uh, I might go over a few things uh, I already talked about or I will mention a few things that might be uh, obvious to some of you but I just want to go over them for some of those that are just uh, starting and uh, might uh, miss some of those uh, small steps now this might be already the first uh, obvious thing that I would like to mention but uh, always level your tripod uh, after you got uh, everything hooked up so your counterweight is already on and the camera the next thing is in the SynScan app so you should make sure that uh, the mount knows your location now usually you get asked this the first time you open uh, the, the app but just in case uh, you can go uh, to the settings and location and uh, check if your location is correct and I'll add the link in the description of the video so you can check if the location is uh, set up properly next is the polar alignment and I just made a video recently so um, so I will fast forward that part and then I'll talk about the star alignment in the SynScan app Okay, so my polar alignment is finished now uh, let me just mention that your guide scope and your telescope should be pointing in the same exact uh, point now with that said uh, let's do the star alignment so i use phd and align the stars by looking at the phd window so first i go to view and select the bullseye as my overlay now let's do the alignment uh, and i always uh, do a three star alignment Plus, I'm always using a green laser so I can see exactly where my telescope is pointing and that helps me so I can do my correction more easily. Okay, so I got my star selected, now let's begin the alignment. Okay, so I actually hit the house behind my backyard, but luckily Jupiter is a little bit above. Okay, and this happens to me a lot of times, so usually the correction should be up or right, but I often have to correct the mount uh, in the opposite direction. So what I do is I overcorrect it and then I use the proper arrows to do the final correction uh, of the star. Okay, so this time it was a little bit closer, but again I have to do the correction in the opposite direction. That's enough. Now again use the proper arrows to center it.
and this is how it is usually on the last one so I can use only the right uh, arrows to get uh, the last star in the center But yeah, the whole point is to overcorrect the mount and then go back and center the star with the arrows that the sin scan app is uh, kind of forcing you to. Now unfortunately I don't know why that is, so if anyone knows the answer, uh, please feel free to let us know. But yeah, now the alignment is done and now your mount should find the targets uh, that you want to image uh, quite accurately. So I want to finish uh, my Trifid Nebula tonight, so let me type it in. Let's hit go to So as you can see it's not uh, perfect but uh, it's uh, good enough and again the arrow showed me the correction in the wrong direction but uh, I'll just tap it a little bit and uh, hit OK. Then I'll center the Trifid Nebula myself. Now I don't think if you can see this, let me turn the computer a little bit let me do the focus yeah you probably cannot see this but anyway that's it for the alignment and for the last thing I just wanted to mention that you should do your guiding calibration in the same spot as your imaging